time to get going. I wouldn't call somebody, I'd be embarrassed to call somebody. <laughs> I was muddying with my Mazda 2 and it's now stuck at San Juan Hot Springs. <laughs> and here's Blondie leaving me off in a remote canyon. I gotta go to work. <laughs> Uh huh. That's always our excuse. Work. And thanks to a very early morning drop off by Taters, I am back on the trail at least for the next couple of days. It's currently Wednesday, and I'm going to be doing a loop that should keep me out here till Saturday sometime. So, yes, that is white stuff on the ground. There was actually a hailstorm last night, in addition to one hell of a thunderstorm, which is unusual for Orange County. It is chilly this morning. There are a handful of residences out here. I actually did look at one of the cabins back here a couple of years ago. Problem is, I don't think they let you use them as your primary residence, so you basically have to own another home, which in California, Southern California is damn expensive, and then you can buy a secondary home out here. So despite the fact that we are out in a desert out here, there are flowing water sources. So I uh, should have water every day, and in a couple of cases I'll have a few water sources a day. And welcome to the highest risk portion of my hike, going along Ortega Highway. So this is basically one of the arteries that connects Riverside slash Lake Elsinore with Orange County. So this is actually a trailhead I never used before. It's easy to miss that it's here, you know? Okay, and of all the things I don't want to do this morning, get my shoes wet, it's pretty high. So you can see in here Ortega in the background, the uh, more remote of the two campsites we stay at regularly is actually located back here, only a couple of miles from where I started. So if we'd happened to be at that campground this week, I could have walked out of camp. Unfortunately, we're out of days, so we're at the other one. Okay, so straight ahead down that canyon, that's Hot Springs Canyon where I started hiking. And if you look back in the background, that's uh, Santiago, which is the high point of Orange County at about 5,200 feet. Uh, the reason why it looks kind of uh, whitish is we actually got uh, hail even down low yesterday, so they'll be falling snow up there. Won't last for more than a day or two, but always cool to see. Okay, that's one way to warm up. And that would be Orange County in the distance. You can tell by the soulless beige houses everywhere. <laughs> so the trails back here are mostly maintained by volunteers and they do uh, put up these cool little signs because Cleveland National Forest doesn't have any funding basically. So this is actual wilderness and one of the only places I know in Orange County that allows dispersed camping and backpacking. So I actually had to get a permit issued by the Tribuco Ranger District, which is really easy. I just emailed it to them and they emailed me back the signed permit. There's not that many people out here, so usually there's no issues actually getting it. The cool thing when I started looking into it, I'd done a shorter trip back here years ago, just an out and back couple of miles. Uh, there are plenty of flowing water sources and even some pitcher pumps in some paid campgrounds that are accessible along the way. So I think I can actually string together like a 60 mile uh, loop out here. I basically have four days of food on my back, three nights, and then I'm carrying two and a half liters of water plus Gatorade. So that gives me three and a half liters plus I got a C-Knock so I can carry an extra two if I go into a dry section. Uh, my plan is to actually dry camp the second night. So I'm about halfway through Lucas Canyon and sure enough, there's flowing water. So in order to connect two sections of the trail, I had to pass through a private community called Wheeler Ranch. 
Per the ranger I talked to at Tribuco, there is no technical trail access through here, but you know, there's the forgiveness versus permission principle. Okay, so I moved through the private area and now I'm back on the trail. So this is eventually going to run into Camp Pendleton, which is a military base that basically blocks OC off from San Diego. So this is looking over Nickel Canyon. Okay, well I'm dropping down this and basically picking up that canyon and fisherman camp will be another four or so miles. There is a surprising amount of water over here. I actually had to bushwhack quite extensively to avoid getting my shoes wet. I'm currently a mile short of uh, Fisherman's Camp, but there's a nice sight here. I think I'm just gonna hang out here. You never know, Fisherman's Camp being so close to the road from that side might have company. Also a nice water source here. It's a bunch of uh, military helicopters buzzing around in the area. Nice little spot. Home sweet home for the night.